Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to be doing um, a dirty cup pour uh, with milk paint. Now I got my inspiration today from Elise Fournier. I will list her name in the description. So let's go over my paints. First of all, um, that uh, milk paint is a combination of one part wall paint. In my case, I used Pittsburgh um, Ultra Intense Satin. One part of the milk paint, which I used Rust-Oleum White. Two parts Floetrol, and then I added water for consistency. My regular paints I'm using today are Modern Masters Cool Mint, Modern Masters Green Apple, Horage Posse Orange Marmalade, Modern Masters Antique Bronze, Deco Art Metallics Peacock Pearl, and my last one is the Amsterdam Oxide Black. For these paints, I did two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and I did add water. And let me show you consistency here. I'll show you with the peacock color. It is thinner, doesn't even leave a mound. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put a very thin coat of the milk paint mixture down as a base, uh, fill my cup, and then I'll bring it back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put down a very, very thin layer of the uh, milk paint uh, combination, and I did fill my cup, and I'll show you that. Pretty full. And I wanted to mention that every third color was the uh, white milk paint. So I do color, color, the white, color, color, white. And I'm, now I'm just going to um, pour my paint on my canvas. And the paint did mix very well together because it is very thin paint. And what I'm going to do is add a ribbon of the milk paint around the outside here. to help that paint move. And also I'm going to shoot some of that up into the other paint, just like that. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. Now I'm going to give it a quick torch before I start tipping. Okay. I'm going to move my paints out of the way here a second. And now I'm going to start tipping and hopefully you'll see most of this tipping. Trying to run my paint over the white paint, the colored paint over the white paint.
have one more corner to do here. I think I will add a little bit more of the uh, milk paint combination here. And I do have this corner to, to cover here. So I'll do that right away. Okay. And bring that back. Just going to bring the, my, the center it back into the center a little bit here. So do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. Okay. Okay, just gonna check my corners here a minute. Clean off the bottom a little bit with my hands. And now I'm going to give it another torch and see what we bring up. have quite a few of these little cells coming up. Okay, what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to let this rest about 15 or 20 minutes, and we're going to see uh, what develops here, and then I'll bring you back. So we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've let this sit about a half an hour now, and I've given it a few torches. And as you can see, I have a lot, a lot of... Uh, really small cells, some bigger cells, and also off camera, I wanted to point out, I didn't think it had enough of the blue and the green in it, so I poured another little cup and uh, also added the um, milk paint uh, combination and just added that in that corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully Remove some of this paint in the middle here. And this is another idea I got from Elise Fournier. This is what she did with her painting. She used a little scraper to scrape her paint up. I'm just using um, napkins here or paper towels. And now I'm going to lay down my black oxide, my Amsterdam black oxide. I 
and give that a quick torch. And I'm just going to use my fingers and spread that out a little bit. First, I'll do a little bit of tipping here with it. Move it around a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm just going to um, move it around just a little bit. Just see what effect we get here. As you can see, all these cells coming up here. It's really giving it a neat, neat effect here. Okay, and I think I'm going to torch it and maybe do a little bit of tipping. Do a little bit of tipping here just to incorporate these lines a little better.
okay. And I think I will get you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Again, off camera, I did a lot of more tipping and I added a few more black lines here. Here, I'm just trying to show you the whole painting. So let's go up to the upper left-hand corner and just down the left-hand side. Some pretty nice effects in here. Again, this was a cloud pour mix inspired by Elise Fournier. And you should check out Elise's channel. The one thing that really sets her apart from other artists is her embellishments are beautiful. So um, check out her channel. This is a really pretty area in here. I'll take you over the whole painting here. A lot of nice cells in here. And this is a nice area here. You can see where that cloud mix gives you all those really nice cells. And the cloudy look. really nice in here. A lot of really, really teeny cells that you can see there. And this is the lower right hand corner. And we'll just take up the right hand side. It's nice in here too. And here is the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this painting. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you share it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. Thank you for spending time with me today. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.